Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am going to go over, a, I'm Greg, I'm going to go over a coin called Lido or Lido Dow. And um, I'm going to show you uh, some things I'm going to be looking at here for a potential move on it. As always, not financial advice. Use your risk mitigation strategies in case things turn for the worse, because that's always possible in the markets, okay? So I'm going to look at the overall picture here. I made videos on this. And I have like a minimum possible four fifty ish five dollar target for Lido Dow. Okay, one of the reasons why you're looking at this uh, this pattern right here, um, is the debate's going to be over here. But you can see this nice three wave swing all the way down here and took this section out. What's over here is this one two three four five. It could be, but you see the low. It's not over here. I don't have any data to figure that out. So it could be. One, two, three, one, two, three. And you know what that means. That means you have an expanded flat over here. So you have a couple options. And if this is making a flat, it's going to probably go more than $5. Just an FYI, A, B, and then up for the C. Okay, if it's a flat, expanded flat, I got $9, $10 target on uh, Lido Dow possibly. Okay, so I'm looking at that right there. Uh, for possible, it's coming down towards the box. It's finally decided to uh, come down a little bit more. So take here, look at the daily chart, and you do have bullish signals off of this wave. So it came down, and it did a nice impulse wave off the bottom. That's massive impulse wave of 600% plus. And you can see right there to there is your divergence telling you that is an impulse wave. And you can see down here in this RSI, you see that wave right there? Boom. And all the way down here, you see that hidden bullish divergence. So it's correcting its whole cycle. And if this comes down into the box, and this is way down here, you can see all the way down there, taking out everything almost. So that's going to be really, really nice setup right over there. The other thing, too, is if you're familiar with Elliott Waves, okay, this is one of the advantages to Elliott Waves, in my opinion, is you have a nice... Five wave move right here like this. Okay. We got a five wave. Okay. There's always a risk. Things can go uh wrong real quick. Remember that, guys. So if you have a five wave over here, okay, it can't be a flat. If it's not a flat, if it starts with five, it has to end with five. So what that means is you have possibly this over here, possibly that. Okay, that's a little bit more bullish. I wouldn't I wouldn't count on that. I would keep that out of your mind for the time being. Keep the worst case scenario. And you have A, B, and then this right here, C. Okay. And if you take a look at that structure now, right? Let's just say, for example, you take a look at this structure, and here's what you have right here. A, B, potentially a C or a, a B C over here. Or would more that would be more of a WXY. So that's what I'm checking out with uh, Lido over there. Like I said, DGEN, high risk play. Okay. And a lot of people, so see if it comes down. I'm going to be checking that one out, checking out the uh, RSI down here, see what it's going to be doing, if it's going to come down a little bit more. And um, just uh, patiently waiting for Lido to come back down into my box. It might not make it. It's, it's a bullish. It's very bullish right now, guys. If you think about it, it's very, very bullish. It's not correcting down very much. It reminds me of Matic, actually, guys. It kind of reminds me of Matic. So just want to post that little bit of update. If you made it all the way to the end, do me a huge favor. Drop that like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.